I'm Annette Krushek and I'm a proud mother to eight children. Hattie is 23, Charlie's 21, Isaac's 15, Eli's 13, Nora's 11, Claire and Lewis are both seven, and Evie passed away when she was four. We adopted Clara, Lewis, and Evie knowing that they would have complex issues with their heart. We didn't look out seeking children with heart disease, but Clara found us, we didn't find her. And then when we saw the, the beautiful changes after her surgery, we decided to adopt again. Evie was um, the littlest in our family, but yet she had the mightiest mouth and the biggest spirit. Evie loved to follow her family around and do anything that she wanted to do because she was the boss. What she said, we did, and we followed her lead. It was exciting to rally around this little mighty warrior. And now I'm realizing our family has to rally around each other, keeping Abby always at the center of what we do. I would say that and Evie, we always said sometimes it was like she was the underdog that people maybe didn't believe in. You know, you stick this little girl into a ring and you're not expecting too much. And then she goes in with this powerful punch and takes down the giant. Uh, that is Evie. And um, I think she gave this breath of fresh air to some people who struggle and struggle and they say, wow, if a little four-year-old can do this, I need to keep on fighting. She so proudly would walk through the floors on the ICU pushing her little shopping cart and would have a little speaker playing, um, it's gonna be a lovely day. Evie drew people there and you had doctors and nurses having dance parties in the ICU um, with her little troll slippers. So. Even there, she drew people to her spirit. Claire and Lewis both have very similar heart conditions. There's this underlying strength that Evie gives to these two. There isn't a day, um, really a minute that goes by that she isn't mentioned or there's sprinkles of her throughout our house. And I think we all see glimpses of Evie in each other because of her strength. We're just keeping on and doing the best we can, but keeping each other really close as a family. I just want to continually shine Abby's light and if it helps any other children or people, whether it's heart disease or cancer or depression or self-doubt, I want people to believe that they can conquer their challenges just like Abby did. In a world right now where there just feels like there isn't hope or things are so hard in the world, then you have this little girl that puts so much light on all the darkness. And I want people to see that there's always hope. Now, granted, our story didn't end the way that we wanted it to, but that's not the end of Evie. Our family is the poster family for how important continued research is for the Heart Association. This money goes towards research for children that are so complex, support groups, there's so much. And anybody who is willing enough to give, I say thank you. She has passed away, but her life, her legacy, it lives on. And it would make me feel so good to know other children are afforded a long life because of what you are doing, the donors are doing, the doctors, the nurses, the medical staff, it's all because of this association and I thank you, my husband thanks you, our family thanks you.